Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how I modified a push button release for a transom mount trolling motor commonly found on motor guides and similar models. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. This is the same type of bracket I'm going to be using in this project. I'm not going to be using this exact trolling motor because I'm using this on a different project. So I just wanted to demonstrate how it would work. If you can see here, there's the red button here that you push down and that releases the locking mechanism here in the bracket. So if I'm pushing down, I can move it up and you see this right here, that will lock into the little ratchet guides there and that's what keeps it in place. So in order to unscrew the locking piece here, all I did was grab a pair of pliers and just turn this and it unscrewed it very easily once I broke the initial seal. This is a bottom view of the bracket after I've removed this locking piece here that unscrews, it's threaded in there, and it unscrews from this pin here that is spring-loaded that goes through the top to the release button and you can see that it sits in the gear grooves here and that's how it locks in place but since it's unscrews and there's still threads down in here you don't need to remove the rest of this and possibly lose the piece like the spring or any other parts you might want later this is what the bracket looks like after I drilled the hole this is where I decided to make mine for this project and yours may vary depending on the size of the bungee you use or how much tightness you want in there and so I put it right here and centered it this little gear track here and have the other one directly across from it and then I just string my bungee cord right through the center of it This is a view of the mounting bracket with the holes already drilled through it on either side and the bungee cord threaded through it knotted on each end here. And the easiest way to do this is go ahead and thread it through both sides and make one knot and if you're using the bungee and you're afraid that it's going to unravel go ahead and just hit it with a lighter to fuse everything together and then before you cut this side off use a long piece of bungee that way you can tie a knot and slide it closer and closer so you can get the tightness that you want in here for your project. Okay, so I have the project mocked up and here standing in for the trolling motor shaft is another piece of this medical walker which also works as my motor stand. And then down here is the bungee. So what happens is, if you hit an object in the water, it'll go like this and jump right back. And it also just has enough play that you can put it in reverse and it won't pop out of the water. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.